Hi, this is video 2 of the two-part video tutorial for platform games. As I mentioned in the first video, it's been a couple months since I've looked at my own program and I've made this, and as such I'm a little bit rusty. I'm just going to cover the basics of a platform game. If you've already downloaded the file, you may have noticed there's a treasure trove of different things that you can learn from this program. One such thing is you can enter the rocket with your character and it'll take off, jump on a spring, even enter a teleportation pad and appear somewhere else. You can walk up and down ladders, open treasure chests, blow up bridges, and even in different areas of the level you can ride vehicles, something untraditional from other platform games. These are all things that I won't be explaining in this tutorial. All you need to know to make a good platform game is how to have good character control and how to interact properly with collision detecting on the platforms. You'll notice that my platform uh, pack here has different sections and everything can be pieced together differently. This means that you can build really unique levels such as you see in these levels that I've designed. Let's go to our character player one and see what makes it so he interacts properly with his platforms. And that you'll find under the player folder, player one. I have the traditional events here. I have a create event, a step event, and then I have collisions with all the different platform pieces. All I have in the create event is a variable for facing, which tells which direction my character will be facing. And then I execute a small piece of code called image speed equal to zero. And that way when the level starts your character won't be moonwalking, so to speak, in the same spot. Under the step event is where we have an important piece of code. It, it uh, gives the command about gravity. I need to make sure that the only time gravity is affecting my character is if he is in the air, such as he jumps or he teleports somewhere in the sky or maybe jumps out of a helicopter. So if the position is collision free, then gravity will set in. You can use, use this command under the control menu. Under questions, check empty. But I like to think of this as check collision rather than check empty. If you drag that into the field and give it a value of 1 under y, on, under the y axis, and make it effective by only the solids, which are my platform pieces, then make it relative. That's all you have to do for that. But the thing is, I have a ladder in my game, and so if the character jumps and is in the air but touches the ladder, I want to give the player the feeling that he grabbed onto the ladder and therefore is not affected by gravity. So only if the distance to the ladder is larger than zero and the position of the character is collision free will the gravity be set. You can set the gravity under the move tab. I gave the gravity of the player a value of 270 and I put a small value of 0.5 to be the gravity and that way he wouldn't fall too fast. The else condition makes it so if he is touching the ladder or he is touching the ground that gravity in the direction of 270 which is down will be set to zero. To limit the vertical speed or the fall of the player I've created this command if v speed is larger than 8 set v speed to 8 and therefore it will not exceed that value. The other stuff is not important for now. The only other piece of information you need to know to get your character to behave properly is with every collision that the player encounters, whether it be the pieces of platform or even the moving platform or the bridge, I, as you can see, I have the same piece of code for everything. You use the move to contact command in the set vertical speed command. First, the move to contact command is under the move tab right here and I set a value in the direction of direction which basically I asked somebody about that and that's what they told me to put it seems to work pretty good and a maximum of five this will mean that if I'm close 
by at least five little ticks away from this piece of object that I'll kind of magnetize myself to the platform. That way my character won't be bouncing up and down by, say, the gravity pulling me in the ground, the ground bouncing me, the player away, the gravity pulling me back in, and they'll, you'll get this annoying bouncing effect. But as long as you have this, he'll stick like glue to the platform that he's standing on. And again, that's only affected by solid objects. I also set the vertical speed to zero, so he won't keep falling. It's just a safe check command. It may not be necessary, but I do it so the character is indeed stopped when he hits a piece of platform. <coughs> and that's pretty much it. Seems simple enough, didn't it? And that's all I'm going to explain for now. The videos tend to be long uh, and get corrupted when I try to save them if they're too long. So, have fun with the program.